Hello from San Francisco. We are looking at San Francisco skyline. From right to left is the Coit Tower, Transamerica Pyramid, and the latest edition Salesforce Tower. And maybe we can see Coit Tower up close and personal. Here we go. And maybe we can also see the Transamerica Pyramid up close and personal. And here we see poor cousin of Golden Bay Bridge. This bridge is called Bay Bridge and is virtually unknown to tourists, but is very well known to more than 200,000 drivers, cars that cross it every day. And it's a really nice bridge in its own right. So, where am I going today? We are going to the rock. That's what locals call the island of Altacross, the island that sits in the middle of San Francisco Bay. And this is what people imagine when you say the rock in Europe. The difference is it's not an island, it's not a prison, and the inmates there are much more peaceful. They are just stealing like crazy. The only way to Alcatraz is by boat, obviously, and the interest is high, so you better come in early and buy a ticket in advance. Otherwise, it takes only 10, 15 minutes. We invite you to explore its multi-layered history. You'll walk in the footsteps of America's most dangerous criminals and the men who guarded them. Hear their voices and experience their daily lives when you tour the federal penitentiary. Although it's known as The Rock, you'll be amazed at the island's natural beauty. Discover the secrets of its historic gardens and keep an eye out for abundant bird life but also be on the lookout for the remains of a Civil War fort, a 19th century stronghold that protected San Francisco Bay from potential invaders. And even after the notorious penitentiary closed, Alcatraz continued to make history. In 1969, in a bid for political recognition, American Indians claimed Alcatraz locate the signs of their occupation alcatraz it's so much more than just a prison there was a prison on alcatraz the maximum security prison from 1934 to 1963 that is 29 years and during that whole time there were close to 1600 prisoners over the years, not, not at one time, not at the same time. And 41 of them tried to escape. And there was never any successful escape, uh, depending on your definition. There is a one kind of unresolved attempt. Three guys tried to escape and, um, well, they did. but based on circumstantial evidence FBI later concluded that they uh, drowned in their attempt to reach uh, San Francisco or the other side of the bay. Funny enough, uh, some people swim, there is a race to Alcatraz I think every year, so it is possible to swim there, but well, if you don't have equipment it's probably pretty cold. Alcatraz movies are part of popular culture and a big reason why the island and its prison have remained so famous even years after the facility closed. So I will mention several of those movies. Point blank. First on the list is the first film that was shot on the island after the prison closed. When this movie was released in 1967, Alcatraz was still very much a national talking point. Despite this, the film wasn't too successful at the box office. Violent and mysterious, 
Point Blank is a classic thriller. Next one is The Rock with Sean Connery, Nicolas Cage and Ed Harris. The Rock is an explosive action thriller with something for everyone. As long as you like films with hostage talk, taking, government corruption and chemical weapons attacks. It's complete fiction and much of it wasn't in the film on Alcatraz. Murder in the Forest with Christian Slater, Kevin Bacon and Gary Oldman is very loosely based on a true story. When an Alcatraz prisoner is tried for murder, a lawyer attempts to put the prison itself on trial for the conditions he faced there. The argument goes that the prison itself is making its prisoners insane. Next one is Birdman of Alcatraz, but any Alcatraz tour guide will be quick to tell you that prisoner Robert Stroud, the so-called Birdman of Alcatraz, was never allowed to keep birds on the island. And last one, most famous probably, Escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood. It is one of the most famous Alcatraz films. It's based on what was possibly the only successful escape from the island. Nobody knows really whether the escapees ever made it to the shore and it's considered largely historically accurate. Around the corner we will see pictures of most famous or I should say infamous prisoners of Alcatraz. I actually knew the names of only three of them. Um, I think one of them was Machine Gun Kelly, another one was Birdsman of Alcatraz and the most famous of them all Al Capone, the Mafia boss. All three of them I think were there for murder but no one dared to no one dared to be a witness against al capone the brutal mafia boss also called uh, scarface so feds came up with an innovative tactics they got him on taxes here you have to pay taxes on illegal gains as well and Al Capone didn't so that's how he ended up behind bars here is a another cell I don't think we need to look at any more of those they are basically very simple and you probably know them I mean you know them from the movies hopefully not from your personal experience so let's go somewhere else where did they eat well this is the dining hall let's have a look what they say here okay dining hall the food was some of the best in the federal prison system and guards and inmates ate the same meals since the inmates had access to metal knives forks and spoons this was also the most dangerous room on alcatraz patrolling guards and gas canisters mounted on the ceiling kept prisoners in line well i would hope so and let's have a look at the kitchen well kitchen behind bars of course that makes sense and what do we have here wow holy cow menu number one starter peanut soup buttered peas hot biscuits main roast turkey with celery dressing candied sweet potatoes giblet gravy cranberry sauce dessert Fresh grapes, pumpkin pie, bread, oil, coffee. Wow, that is something. That reminds me of airplanes. When you fly, especially international long distance flights, you get something like this. Who was the chef here? Julia Charles, Jacques Papin. Unbelievable. This must have been very unique, really, around the US prison system. I cannot imagine that they had this anywhere else and after dinner we can have a glass of wine or liquor oh we are in prison we cannot so maybe we can have a look at freedom through the windows San Francisco in the distance and nowadays 
you are supposed to drop off your device that uh, basically gives you the audio tour. The things that people carry around are not really mobile phones, but the devices that are included in the admission price. A lot of birds everywhere. Well, we are on the island, so no surprise here. And I want to show you one more thing. Where do the guards live? Well, the answer is simple. They lived here on Alcatraz with their families. Not only the guards, but uh, all the personnel. There was a family housing and it was not like that they lived in San Francisco and, oh dear, I will work overtime today, don't wait for me. And you jump on the boat and go to the island. No, you lived here. And here is a couple of interesting facts about Alcatraz. Al Capone played banjo in the inmate band. And the name of the band? The Rock Islanders. And they gave regular Sunday concerts for other inmates. Alcatraz is named for seabirds, actually after pelicans in Spanish. While Alcatraz was certainly not club mat, its tough as nails reputation was a bit of a Hollywood creation. The prison's one man per cell policy appealed to some inmates because it made them less vulnerable to attacks by fellow prisoners. So we are getting closer to San Francisco and it will be the end of today's video. I hope you like it and if you decide to visit San Francisco, Keep in mind, maybe Alcatraz is interesting.